Hello everybody, I'm Ewar Abbott here on a set of Corsa at Lime Rock in some Gravy Garage. And today is the day we are going to talk about a few things, if you haven't guessed by the title. I've been very hesitant to make this video because I know that some things that I may say may actually uh, trigger some people and or cause you know them to disagree. But it's something that I've been thinking about and I think we need to have a little talk about. And that is to remove a lot of the hate and everything in a set of course of drifting and get back to making drifting fun. And by that, I mean a few things that keep coming up on my channel and have been coming up on my channel for a while. And also I know other content creators and streamers deal with as well. And that is exactly what you're looking at. <laughs> People commenting and saying, why are you drifting in third person? Don't drift in third person. It's not immersive. What are you doing? First person or the win for the win, you know, if you can't drift if you drift in third person and things like that. Well, a lot of content creators and myself utilize different views such as third person, hood view, you know, box camera and everything like that in order to make the game more viewable. And case in point, this yellow S13 that's behind me if I was in first person, you wouldn't know that he's uh, back there grabbing my door right now. So it's the things like that that we utilize to make video and contents more viewable for the viewers. So just because I drift in third person a lot does not mean that, you know, I'm not any less of a drifter than anybody else because I'm not using this as a tool for practice or training for you know real world scenarios i'm using this for fun and you know just enjoying it because when you're out here just bashing around like this in these lobbies i mean you're just vibing with people having fun it's cool to see everything going on around you now that doesn't mean that i don't know how to drift in first person that doesn't mean i don't know how to drift in vr or don't drift in real life it's just i like to do it in the game because it's fun and to me you know, and other content creators, it's a great way for you guys to see, say, more of the game. Like, you would not know about this S13 that is just door tapping me right now if I was in first person. So, that is the one thing to be said. Oh, we sent it! That is one thing to be said for that. And, you know, that goes into the case in point of other drivers running, say, in hood view, which my view button is not working at the moment. Running in hood view in, you know, that also is not immersive. So the people saying, oh, driving third person, it's not immersive. It's, you know, it's dumb. You should be drifting in first person. Well, a lot of the top competitors or in a lot of the big known esports drift competitions run roof cam. And a lot of uh, them run first person. But it is also to be said that a lot of people could say, oh, it's not immersive in third. Well, a lot of those high end competitors sometimes in esports competitions turn their smoke off so that they can see the car in front of them and not have to worry about smoke blinding them to me that's not immersive at all like you can't tell a person in front of you in real life to uh shut your smoke off from your tires when i'm trying to chase you in a competition but that's just like people saying you don't drift the real car in third person no you don't but for me this is a game it's a lot of fun i love seeing everything and you know it makes for better content so I just want to like get rid of all the hate of everybody. If you drift in third person, first person, triple monitors, VR, neck effect on a single, third person, you do you. Like as long as you're out here having fun like this, I got a train behind me, just having fun and vibing with other people. What's the point of what view you drive in? There's really no matter what view you're driving in. It doesn't make a difference. You know, as long as you're having fun and you're enjoying it. And that's that's the whole point of it. It's a game. I mean, you know, yeah, people be like, oh, but why do you have such a, you know, awesome sim wheel and a sim setup and drive in third person? Wow, that guy's, oh my god. Well, that's because I don't, a lot of times I don't drift for immersion. I drift for fun. And there's other times when I drift in first person for immersion, for practice, for competitions and things like that. You know, you know it's, it all depends on what I'm actually doing and what I want to do because I know a lot of people that drift this view. And this view, you don't drive a car on the roof. So it's just things like that that, you know, people are starting to get super toxic about in, you know, a lot of content creators 
you know, comment sections and things like that. And, you know, I've seen not only in mine that has been a, a constant battle because I've always driven in third person back in the Forza Horizon 3 days and stuff like that for, you know, the full aspect of the game. You know, that's just how I've always done it. And you know, I've been, people have been constantly commenting, oh, you don't drive in first person, you have this sim setup. You know, it doesn't bother me, but, you know, it does bother some people. And we should all just be thankful that we're all just vibing and having fun anyways you know with the holiday season and the new year around the corner i think maybe we should all just uh try and get rid of all the hate and all the toxicness that is happening and just roll it in and start getting back to how these basher lobbies and everything used to be and that's and that's another thing that i know is recently is a lot of people don't like going into a lot of public sessions not only because the tracks are kind of all the same all the time but for the sheer fact that they don't want to get hit by somebody that's lower than their skill level you know i go into drift lobbies all the time and i'm constantly getting my door bashed in and knocked around and, you know it doesn't bother me because it's a game all i got to do is hit restart spawn back to pits hop back in it not a big deal you know it's not like you're door dinging my real car and it's oh man <laughs> You're not like you're door ding in my real car, you know, so to me that's just things that I think could maybe uh, try and utilize and get rid of here in the new year. And, you know, I'm just showing you case in point of all the different variations of angles, first person, roof, and third, so you guys can get a general sense of like what it all looks like. And it's like I said, just because I drive in third does not mean I can't drift in first or in VR, or in any other view. It's just, I do it for purpose of videos. And yeah, this looks awesome when you're, you know, diving in on somebody's door and getting really close like this. But if there's somebody behind me, you can't really see it. So it's great for a one-on-one -on -one tandem, but I know there's somebody behind me right now and I can't tell how close he is. So it's just one thing. And you know, with that being said, and me, you know rambling on about what I think about getting rid of some of the hate and some of the toxicness that's in a set of Corsa <laughs> drift lobbies if you agree with me or disagree with me let me know down in the comment section down below whether you agree or disagree and if you disagree or agree let me know why because I'm very curious what you guys all think about the things that I was talking about with you know third person first person you know drifting for fun versus competition and practice now don't get me wrong first person is very much immersive vr if you're practicing for real life um drift events and real life drifting then yes third person probably would not be the fit for you but if you're just vibing and having fun sometimes it's fun just to chill out and you know the other thing about running roof cam that's also not immersive and in drift competitions oh my <laughs> we just got set in drift competitions you know, turning your smoke off so that you can see in front of you. Like, to me, I feel like uh, in an esports aspect, I wish there was a way, like in iRacing, you can lock the camera view. You can say lock it to a certain view and lock the settings to where everybody has to have, you know, the same amount of smoke, the same amount of this, that, and the other thing to make it as even playing field as possible because you go into a real world and do a competition. You can't turn off smoke and you can't run in roof cam and things like that. But you know what? That's the beauty of a set of Corsa and the esports world. You have the ability to do this stuff. So keep it. Let people drive how you want to drive. If you want to drive in third and make videos and do this, that, and the other thing, or maybe you're more comfortable driving in third, you do you. <laughs> you're never going to catch me telling anybody, hey man, you shouldn't be driving like this or you shouldn't be doing this because I. I drive all kinds of different ways, all kinds of different cars, all kinds of all things like that. So I just like to chill and vibe. And I hope coming into the new year, maybe people will start to get back to how a set of course of was when you could just hop into a lobby and just vibe with people and just have a good time and, you know, just meet new friends, drift with your buddies and just chill for laps and laps and laps. Like I've been doing this entire time we've been talking. I've just been, you know, chilling, talking, but throwing down some lines. I'm having a blast. 
So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find it in the description box below. Like I said, if you agree or disagree with anything I said, let me know down in the comments. I'd be very curious to see what you have to say. And if you do disagree and you say I disagree, let me know why you disagree, because I'd be very curious. And you know, if you're if you make a valid point, then you make a valid point. And you know, everybody's opinion really matters. And the only thing that really matters to anybody that is either getting hate or you know negativity and say if you're driving and people are talking you know all that matters is yourself and how you feel about it if you like driving in third person do it i'm just gonna take that pass right there because <laughs> i love coming into these lobbies like this and just throwing down some third person lines because you know what i get to see way more and see a lot more especially right now when i'm leading the train if i was in first pretty boring view but now I can see that guy creeping up on my door so make sure you follow me on all social media I'll let you find the description box below and as always I thank you guys for coming back and watching and showing the support on the channel let me know what you think as always I thank you guys I'll see you guys on the track <laughs>